Y'all know we do here every Saturday morning, the Tyrone Hour, from 9 to 10 in the morning. We strive to bring power, dignity, and class back to our communities because I say class is missing. Thanksgiving coming up, ain't it, King? Is there school on Thanksgiving? No, it's not. That's right, because I'm talking about no class. No class, just like the Fat Albert thing, King. No class. I always say that every show, man, about class. Class is missing. Dress down, you act down. Dress up, you kind of act up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 everything picks up when you dress up a little bit. Your mentality gets a little better, seems like it. You get me, King? Yes, I so do. that's why I always speak about class. King, you, um, again, you know, we're going to talk about the, um, uh, the brother, um, Brother Don, uh, Don Allen about the lifers and everything, but I'll give um, to one of my sponsors, um, brother, go ahead, brother King, put a sponsor for me, brother Blue, Mo Bello. Yeah, Mo Better, Mo, uh, Mo Better Fish Box, um, the home of the Fish Box, yes, uh, the yes. original Fish Box, and um, he's located at uh, Milford, 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 yeah. Milford, yeah, Milford and um, Liberty Heights, Milford and Liberty Heights, right there in. Um, Right there on the corner and everything. The brother serves uh, fish and everything. And um, yeah, yeah, brother the, Sean Blue, he was on the show with us last week. Good brother of mine, yeah, friend of mine. The prices are well. I mean, oh, today, as a matter of fact, they're having it today. Yeah, the day this day he has it. He does today it only on day. Saturday right now. He hasn't yeah. expanded it yet. Uh, the brother Kenny, um, barbershop on Park Heights. And what is it, impressions, right? Yes, impressions. Impressions, man. Brother Kenny, thank you, Brother Kenny. I told you I'm going to be um, throwing you brothers out every weekend. Brother Kurt and them, CC Lounge and all you brothers, man. And great place to hang out, guys. CC Lounge on Rice Town and um, Nelson, man. It's a great place um, to serve food, uh, entertainment, and everything there. It's, yeah, nice, it's a nice little laid nice back. Nice spot, man. Nice yeah. um. Back, nice cool group spot. of type of people too. I I believe that you know it's not no wild spot. You know how we we, we black folks, so we know the type of spot. Dude, you, boy, you might not want to go there, boy. A little wild there, you know. Yeah, but no, it's a nice spot though, King. But let's get into this week thing, King. When we will talk about, King, I yeah. wanted to talk about. Um, I I was gonna say, King, you know, um, I switched my jobs, you know, King. Yeah. And I'm at a senior assistant type of situation, right? And I've never seen, I mean, I've, I ain't gonna say I've never seen, let me just stop saying that part, never seen it, but learning how to get along. Even in this spot where people are on wheelchairs, walkers, and canes, we, and, and, I, and let me say this too, because I made this study too, because everything I do, King, I try to study it, you know, study it for a moment before I try to say something about it. I understand. <laughs> and, we as blacks, man, we have a goddamn on problem. The ones in the wheelchairs and walkers can't even walk talking about whipping tails, kicking butts, find the worstest things they could ever say to people. You know, I mean, and the whites are there too. But the whites figure their way out how to savvy around. Mm -hmm. You heard what I said? They savvy. They savvy with theirs. They know how to get theirs and, you know, can, you, can I do some work for you? You know, and watch the I watch my folks try to steal a thing of toilet paper. When they say, just give it to me. You know, I need toilet paper. It's a senior sister spot. Why you why are you stealing that? Why is that mentality still there, King? To grab something and get away with it. You heard what they said? Yeah, I did. To be able to grab and get away with it. Well. And then come back with a situation of over oh, well, I'm deprived or things of that nature King I tell you King I just want to talk about that learning how to get along is very important man I mean it's a very easy thing to do King yeah, yeah. greet a person speak to them how you doing what's your name oh, okay you know we probably work together they can say on jobs you know blacks go to the jobs and I've had this conversation before on multiple shows King we go to a job, it's just like right now, if all of us was at a uh, factory, all of us are, you know, African American, oh, yeah. or people of color. And the first thing one of us would assume when things go wrong is that we don't stick together at this job. Mm -hmm. See, we have a false, crazy myth. When, we, when I get a job, it says that all the blacks on this job. Now, I don't know none of the blacks on the job. I don't know none of the people back on the job. But the narrative is that we all should stick together on this job. No, on your application, 
all of us filled out our applications here before, right? Did you ever check a fun box on the application? Um, um, people of different ethnicities supposed to stick together. Is that on the application box? In the black mind, when he goes to the job, that's on his application, though. Yeah, these mm -hmm. niggas don't skew my language. These blacks don't stick together. They don't stick together. Mm -hmm. But no, I came here to support my family. That's not individualism, neither. No, That's not no. independence, neither, King. I came here to take care for my family, right? When I got a job, usually I'm here to put food on the table or something like that. I didn't come here to become a unit as people of color or people of whatever or ethnicity. You get me, King? Let me, tie, on, man, so you, I, let me tie it together, you know, for our listeners out there. Um, what Tyrone was really trying to say is, this gang mentality. Yes. It's a gang mentality, which you were describing when you first came on. And the second part of it is, on, on the job, it's a mob mentality. A mob mentality. So, you know, here's the thing. Um, the American culture, black, white, whatever, once you embrace the American culture, for whatever reason it is, we love gang life. We love that gang mentality. We like the mob. Like I mean, you think I'm playing? In, in the 20s, 30s, and 40s, it was the mob. They was running things. They were bootleggers. They were bootleggers. You know, that's how the Kennedys and Al Capone and all those people, this is how Chicago was born. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, them NASCAR racing came about because of the bootleg racing. That's how NASCAR became popular. They was chasing super, them down the road. Yeah, they were Charging souping up the their cars and they, they was, was trying to figure they, out. How, how you know, about so that? There's, a history, the there's a whole industry that was built behind yep. bootlegging. Well, bootlegging, yep. Okay. So as a culture, American culture, you know, this this embracing of you know, debauchery, doing the wrong things, the ability to go in and take, why? Because the majority of people, to believe it or not, are suckers, punks, you know? They, they don't want no So they live, real. they Thank like, you. they live vicariously through these guys, but they don't seem to understand that these guys have no chill. So they go into the extreme. There was once a quote, do you, would you rather be respected out of love or fear? You know, mm -hmm. and most, most, People would say, oh, I like it to be out of love. And then it was the one guy who said, no, I want it out of fear. He's like, see, because when I, when, when, when they fear you out of love, it gives them an opportunity to, to challenge it. When they fear you out of respect, it is not even so much you that they're fearful of. They understand the consequence that comes behind God, you your action. About that before, okay? Yeah, so, so that yeah. person gets to do everything. I mean, look, you... Look yeah. at those people who run those organizations. Mm -hmm. You know, they get to do the most before they even brought up on anything. And then when they get caught, nine out of ten times, these people, the prominent figures, the Al Capones and people like that, I'm, again, just sticking with uh -huh. this gang and mentality and this mob mentality, these people are glorified. They have movies made about them, books wrote about mm -hmm. them, and then you, mm -hmm. you put it out there and you make it, you, you put them on such a pedestal that people that are coming up want to emulate that and now they want to take on that 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 that, um, that, that, yeah. that, that persona that situation that happened down in uh what's name because i wanted to talk about that but we weren't on the air and it happened before we got back on the air what's the situation? alabama situation am i right when i'm talking about the alabama situation where oh, the, 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 the brawl on the, the, the brawl, beach on the yeah. brawl on the docks yeah, yeah yeah we took that as a as i mean literally if you hadn't learned, listen to black media. That was a win for us. Well. It was a win for us. It's called low-hanging fruit. It was a win for literally. I mean, some of our most prominent elites were talk. Did you see how he jumped across well, the water? This just, it was a brawl, King. It was a, but here's it the was thing. a melee. It's called low-hanging fruit, and yeah. this is what we clamor for, anything to be relevant to, be to, relevant. to try to make, a, to, to, to create content, to create, to make ourselves a spectacle, yeah. to get in front of the camera, the, you know, that anything. Was, I mean, literally, I, I mean, yeah, when I problem? heard this, when I heard this, I said, I'm listening to our, our, our black, um, our black elites on FM. Ah, you heard what I said? Because yeah. I think they consider us uh, lesser than what it is. Okay. Mom, yeah. Hey, I got mom, mom. 
Hi, how y'all doing? Hey, man, yeah. good to hear you. I'm sorry about last week we couldn't get you in and everything, and I say I know how, you know, the folks love to hear your way of giving things, man, but we were talking about some things. Can you give mommy a little brief on some of the things we just talked about, please? Okay, we was just talking about the culture and how um, we can't get along, and Tyrone was using the um, his... Um, um, his analogy from earlier in this week where he was at work and people who can't even walk, they're in walkers. They're, they're walkers. in assisted living. Assisted and living. They're talking about whose tail they going to whip and I, I can't wait to catch them outside and, you know, you better have my my, my, my toilet paper. Yes. And, you know, just the, you know, the ability, instead of going out and asking and saying, hey, I need, you know, just the, just the ability to take and act as if they've done something, you yeah. know, grandiose. Learn how know, to get along, man. They don't know how to get along with one another. And uh, when, when you converse it to the white counterparts there, they're a little savvy. They know how to get around by, you know, exchanging favors for favors as yes. opposed to constantly. Um, Trying to take off for yeah, take off. And my part, and, and what I wanted to bring, you know, uh, bring his, his conversation around to is that, you know, in those type of settings, in you know, it, it's a gang mentality. Like everybody wants to run things; they want to be the mm -hmm. Al Capone. And then when you go to work, you know, they're mm -hmm. there and they're trying to make you friends. Go ahead, like ma. Let ma go ahead. This. Go ahead, ma. Yeah. Tune in. Go ahead, ma. Well, I think that uh, I'm just speaking from things that I have been uh, involved in and have been around with people. You have a certain group of people that will always have that jealous mentality. Mm. They 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 don't they don't want to see anybody get get anything better than they that they have. Mm -hmm. The problem is is that we have to understand that nobody just winks and blinks in this world like the bewitch story and get what you want. <laughs> you, have I like to work, that. you have to work for what Thank you get. Thank you, man. King talking about people, that way here. And people that don't want to work and people that sit around and watch the lives of other people, they get jealous uh -huh. because they, they they really want what you have. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And you yeah. and, and you have to watch their comments because when I came off of the job and I became a full time homemaker, when then they changed that to a uh, technician, home technician. No, I wanted coffee, medium coffee, and uh, egg McGri No, I ordered a uh, a. Uh, uh, Sa uh, McGriddle, Sergeant McGriddle. You order so, while you online? Anyway, anyway, what happened is that <laughs> when they found out I wasn't <laughs> in a medium coffee with one. Y'all hear this, right? My mom so was ordering they, her so food they, while she's on there. When they found out that I wasn't working, their comments was, well, what do you do? Why, uh, uh, why are you home? Mm. Uh, all kinds of negative. Instead of saying, "I'm so glad you've been, you worked all the time that you worked, so now you're home. I hope you enjoy your time home mm -hmm. with your children." It was always negative comments. So you're I'm saying the stigma, me. the stigma was so, put on it. The stigma was oh, put yeah, upon that. Yeah. So, so our people, to me, I hate to say this. But we don't like each other. Ah, my, A lot of us don't like my, each other. Ma, I mean, I'm hey, telling you, so what I, I'm seeing at this nursing center is what I'm telling you, ma. This is what I'm seeing at this center. I can't believe it that I'm breaking up fights from people that can barely walk. Right. Well, for one thing, your, right. your, your, the nature of some people is just being mean. Ah, they were call. mean. They were mean when they were young, ah. and when they got older, they felt like they could bring it out more so, and then claim it all. Myself. Well, I'm I old. I I, I'm, I'm this. I'm that. Yeah. But you were mean all along. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You, 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 because as an older person that need help. You should be the most humblest person what? in the world. I say that every day. I say that five days a week. I say, it seemed like y'all would be the most nicest, humblest people in the world. But you get my, what I'm saying, my, from my experience in my 35 years of working out there college and everything, I just, I'm not down on my peoples. But all the riffraff and all the gossip and all the mayhem, 
It came from my folks on these jobs. I mean, it's only us that go to the jobs with mess. We go to the jobs and with... When, yeah. And when you come on the job, you got people that's already been there as an as an older employee that's gonna gonna tell you. Well, if I was you, I wouldn't speak to her. Yeah, how about I that? Do, I wouldn't have. Yep, to I've had that happen because they this. You haven't even met the person, mm -hmm. but they they already want to school you on something. Somebody on the job that you've never met. So already there's dissension going. Well, I got you know, like, yeah. I got a question. I got another I question say, for you, man. I say this, Newt. Yeah. Until we as black people, that's why we don't have anything. We don't own anything. We don't come together. If you see all these white folk, all these bond folk, when they have a problem, they get together and protest. And guess what? They go into the most uh, populous places to protest. The capital of the that's United States. Hey, but look. Hold up, man. Ma. Ma, hold on for a minute. Ma. Answer this question real fast. Answer this question. I got a question called Young Law. Young Law. Law is law. According, what I got here, according to the crime, law is law. It doesn't matter what age you are. I hate to take us off that topic, but we don't have that much time, and I want to get it all in. Law is law. Right now what we have is a different type of law they're trying to make for young folks. If you kill somebody, the law is the law. Let my king go and team on this real fast. When I tell you, young law, king, the way the law is being thrown around right now with this young law. Well, there is no young law. There's just law. Thank you. And this this misconception about you know juvenile justice. I was like that that's a problem in itself. Thank the, the the wording the juvenile. Today. Just listen to it. Juvenile justice. Yeah. You, you're not looking for justice for juveniles. Juveniles are, are doing stuff and they're in a system and they're supposed to be in a correctional facility. Yeah. It should read juvenile correctional facilities. Yeah. As opposed to juvenile justice. You thank you. And that's where the problem comes in. This is where the sympathy is coming sympathy in, and that's why in. all these laws are being put in motion. But again, uh, I think I said this last year. You, you, it's the lawmakers. Um, I, I, I came in. I'm not going to say the, the, the person's name, but I heard um, a radio announcer <laughs> this week use something that we said on the Tyrone show. He said that, um, you know, I'm noticing how these politicians are sitting perched on their little level looking down trying to tell us how we to did. live. What? And I'm like, we, me. Where's my husband's coffee right. with mm -hmm. one cream? And we have been, and we. <laughs> you on the air, man. You're killing me. And we have been <laughs> talking about that and saying that about the black elite. See, he, let, he stopped short of calling them out. Yeah. And this is where the problem lies in. We are stupid. Let me rephrase that. You all are stupid, black people, as voters, because you are not utilizing your vote yeah, to get what to you that. want. That's right. That's right. It, all that. yeah. it all ties in. It all ties in. It all ties in. The juvenile, the juvenile justice, no, the, the, the crime, all that stuff that is taking place. Everything that you see uh, going on right now comes right back to the laws that are in place. It comes right back to the people who are elected and put in those positions. Yeah. I'm saying yeah. things that I know when, mm -hmm. you know, if I was mm -hmm. more popular, I would be, yeah, they would be, I, my phone would be ringing like, hey, listen, man, you might want to chill out. You, you, you know, you're going a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, you're going a little too hard. Yeah. But these things need to be said. The black people or the people, no, black people, because you're the one who vote that they're, quote, they're, they're, they're courting. Yeah, you all yeah, are yeah. being stupid with your vote. Yeah. It's, black I don't even understand black why you even, you. At, at this Thank point, you. I don't even understand why you have, why you even exercise your right to vote because you're not utilizing it no. to do it. You're in an echo chamber. Yep. You keep voting for the same thing yeah. and the same people. Crime is taking, I mean, it's going rampant. What? And then yet, when you go into your congressional meetings in these democratic cities that is ran by black people yes all you seem to yes. the only laws that you seem to 
be able to pass is laws against the, the citizens, citizens who yes, have legal, legal rights, rights to own guns. Legal it rights. is a constitutional right, your Second Amendment, to own guns. You know why they say the, the reason yeah. why we have guns? It is not to protect yourself. It is to protect us from the government, from the tyranny of our government, because mm -hmm. they will, like what you see now, go too far and take a, usurp your authority and take your um, oh, oh. and take your power from you <laughs> and tell you that you can't defend yourself. Ty, mm -hmm. please tell them about what we saw on TV. I was Zone. just going to tell you. Ma, you still on the line, Ma? Yeah. Please All right, we, we listened to your whole order, Ma. Thank you for, you didn't order me and King anything, yeah, though. The, the, the we heard you, the McGriddle uh, yeah. and the, the coffee and everything. We heard all that in the yeah. air, all right? I, I take two right. creams, not one. You didn't get us anything, but it's okay, though. We, we okay, though, all right? I like hash browns and, and strawberries. Did anybody see what we saw on the news up in Upper Merlin, the home invasion? Did you see that mile of news? See that on the news? Oh my The home invasion. Oh, well, these God. three young men were trying to kick in the door. Lady I Brunty. mean Lily. They kick in the door and claim to be the police. They got guns and everything. Yes. Thank God that the people in the house had a gun. They shot through the door and they, that's how he the ran door away. Flew but open. this is what's going on in our community. Anarchy and chaos is at its all time high. Thank you, because the black brick is over society in our community there right now in America. Brick again. It's a black brick over us, whereas though, oh, but we, oh, you want to talk about just black people. No, we're only looking at what we're looking at. I'm saying, you again, I say, uh, uh, I can see the forest for the trees. Well, Ty, you if get what I'm saying? Well, if, it's thir if we 13% of the population and we committing 50% of the crimes, well, that's a Can, such, what that's was a the in the structural bit of those guys that were kicking in that door? Uh, they were stouty. They were, they were stouty. What was, what was the nature and the structure? Because we can tell the nature and the structural yeah. people are color people. They, 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 were, they were a little stout. Yeah, they, they were, were black guys. Look, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little yeah, burly. Yeah. See little burly. Um, see, it's that brick that's laying over top well, of the black, 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 see, black leaders. We can also see their wrists. You better not say lock up black people. We can see their wrists. Well, see, that's the narrative. You locking up black people and, you know, you just throwing, you just locking up all no, black all people. Black, just, just, just no reason you just locking up black people. Yeah. No, you locking up bad black people. You lock up bad whites. You lock up black Koreans. Black, well, I'm sorry, not black Koreans, black but you lock Mexican. up Koreans. Yeah. Black, you lock Anybody up bad is, people. Thank you. There you go. Do we, Ma? All I well, want to know. Mama uh, have yeah, go to ahead. Because I am so up, uh, 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 upset that you all heard the conversation <laughs> this morning. But, but, but. But anyway, it's, it's uh, Chucky's birthday today. Okay, okay. So a shout out for Chucky. Okay. Happy birthday, Chucky. Shout out. So, and and Chuck uh, was one of our supporters. Thank you, brother Chuck. Happy birthday, bro. Thank you, man. I'll talk to you all next week. Love you. All right, get me Thank King you. Order next week, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Have a good day. I tell you, King, though, man, you know, we talk about this stuff. We're watching this stuff on television every day. Um, King, they burnt up another up on Linden Heights in Belvedere. Yeah, yeah. Firefighter got killed. We sent out our condolences to the Baltimore City Fire Department for losing um, one of your one of ours. I don't care if he was black or white. Let's throw that narrative away. He was an American. He's American. He was going to save some folks or stop something bad from happening, and something bad happened to multiple ones. One of them just passed away. Yeah. And we have sent our condolences out to um, the family members and um, the uh, firefighters that are in recovery trying to get their cells back together here at uh, WFBR 1590. Um, you know, what a tragic situation, King. And um, King, uh, we have another problem in our community. We have a squatter's problem. What? No, not us. We have a squatter's problem in our community. No, not really. Right? I mean, really? Um, I mean, people just live in people's houses? Remember I told you about that happened on my community, on my block down the street, um, on the second part of Cadelia about four or five years ago. The people weren't telling the addicts to get out the house. Stop getting high in this house. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Well, they got high on a windy day, very extremely windy day. The house caught on fire that they were in. It burnt down the whole block of the houses down the whole side. Mm -hmm. Squatters, drug addicts, 
Winos, dope fiends. See, I'm calling what she is. I ain't giving you no gut card. See, I need shame applied to you. Yeah. To, see, to try to help and save you, I need shame applied to you. Look what you've done. So it happened again now. So they don't want to say that it was squatters in those houses. But I know the region that I'm living in. It's right behind St. Charles. Yeah. Right where, where all the crazy stuff happens yeah. at. Yeah. And the yeah. police station. The police is station right, behind right there. That. The police right station there, the right police there. Station's right here. Yeah. All right? They burnt down all the homes right there. And I know myself, because I live around this community, that was what was going on in those homes. And the neighbors come outside after the event, are like they're losing everything. Oh, I lost everything. But you seen them in that house. Well, you knew what they were building that house. Yeah. You knew they were getting high, using drugs, unsafely, next to your home. Yeah, but here's the sad part about that. But you child. understand. Go ahead, Here's go ahead, the sad King. part go ahead, about King. it. Go ahead, King. You yeah. have an initiative that's taking place in a city where you have our, our local yes. politicians that are supporting this. Yes. Do you think that this would be going on if they didn't make, if they wasn't trying to gentrify certain neighborhoods? Yes. And then they turned around and made rent literally impossible for you to, 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 to I'm talking about in the hood now. Yeah, 12, made it impossible. $2,000 so, for a what, row home so on this a is, terrible block. So this is what's happening. Yeah. You have the rent that has skyrocketed. Now the people have put their investments yeah. into these houses, but now you can't get people that was going to come in there and rent it because as they come into the neighborhood and they see it and they see all the drugs and broken glass and, and trash all over the place. the house next door to me with a squatter. Hold on, we, I'm getting to that, Ty. Yeah. And, you know, they look and they like, nah, I'm not going to rent here, especially for what you say. If you charge for 1500 I go out in the county and get me something out in the county for 15 I'm not going to come down here for that. So then what ends up happening is that house is fixed up and it's vacant. Now, the people who, are, who invest in the house, who own it, typically don't live here. So they're somewhere else. And now, as Ty said, you have squatters that come in and take over. Keep now, going. Now, what happens is, take because the copper I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened yeah. because yeah. I live in a neighborhood yeah. where he's saying the exact same thing. And yeah. this is what happened when we approached those same squad. Hey, man, y'all got to get the, you know, up out of here. What? Hold Cut on. Drop. Hold on. Y'all got to get up out of here. The squatters called the police. Yes. On us. On the homeowners. Hold on now. Yes. I got to tell the story, Ty, yes. because they don't believe it. But there are people out here who know this, and they will attest to it. They called the police on us the homeowners. and said that we were harassing them. Squatters. And then the police turned to us and said, What's y'all problem? Listen, if we have to come back out here again, yeah. we're going to have to take y'all in. Y'all. Because... You know, listen, I understand, but if the owners of the house is not complaining, yeah. then what do you have to do with yeah. it? Burnt down the house. Firefighter died. Again, firefighter well, died. The, now, the homeowner comes, they get involved, yeah. and you know what they're told? Yeah. Oh, well, you can't, you have to evict them. You have to give them 30, 30 days. 30 to 60 days. A person who kicked your back See, door window so, and... Yeah, yeah, when yeah, we're yeah, telling yeah, you a yeah, problem, yeah. And I, I'm telling you how a problem that a simple problem that you can fix becomes exacerbated by by weak-minded, spineless politicians who put policies in place who do not care about their citizens. And I'm talking about black people who claim that they are Democrats because these are Democratic people who are running this city. Yeah. It is a shame, a shame what yeah. they're doing and how they're treating the people. Yeah, oh, do we have another caller? Yeah. Got a call uh, up my sister Leslie. Leslie, Miss Leslie. Man. Good morning, everyone in Be More City. <laughs> How you How doing? You doing How you doing, past yeah. resident of Be More City? North Carolina. Yes, yes, yes. We have this my time, sister. I've been listening to the comments, and I just want to tell you all: continue doing what you're doing, keeping uh, keeping people's minds open, and and uh, and having a voice. That's thank, the thank problem. You. We don't we don't use the voice that we have. Thank you, Continue sis. Continue to use your voice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and sis. I just want to just encourage you all to keep doing what you're doing. Mm, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Want to chime you. in or you just wanted to send that message? I wanted to send that message, but I also wanted to talk a, just a tad about 
um, community. Go ahead. Thank uh, you. Just Please. a tad about community. Go ahead. Because there is no such thing anymore. Ah. Me, we just myself, talked about and that, I. Si. That's what it is. So, individualism. Even inside you was talking family, about that? Yep. It's me, myself, and I. Yep. And we need to wake up because no, it's no man is an island. We need each other. And we need to wake up and realize that it's not about what I can get or what is in it for me, but we have to change our mindset. Of how can I be a help and a blessing and to somebody else in this world? Every day you get up, you, if that you wake up, you bless, you open your eyes, then you should be asking yourself, how can I be a help to somebody else? Yes, Even right. Even with what little I have, how can I help somebody? That's right. Hey, but sis, let me ask you one question before I let you go, whatever. I want you to get taken on this. Because you brought up about, about this... Um, but is it the word independence that we ran with? Yes. Did we run with I, that too far? I believe, yes, independence, if you want to use that word. But to me, it's selfish. Ah, selfish. well, that's but yeah, go, go, go ahead. about you. Go ahead. Good call. Good call. Because if you can be independent and still have a heart. You can be independent and still uh, have compassion. You can be independent. But when you selfish, it's about you. Mm. Thank you, sis. You, you got it off your chest? I did, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look to hear a, from you some more, and, sis. And I'm going to me a, a, a McGriddle also. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yo, you heard that too, huh? <laughs> oh, I've been on the line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love you, sis. Thank okay. you for calling in. Okay, I'll piggyback right, off of that. Tyler, go ahead. Go ahead. Go to the know, website, just, King. Yeah, just to, um, as she said, just so y'all can hear our voice and y'all can put a, a, a face to it, you can find us on YouTube or Rumble at K Thoughts. That's K A E T H O U G H T S. I'll be posting this right after the, um, the show. You'll have it. By 5 o'clock this afternoon, going into the rest of the week. Again, you can find us on YouTube and Rumble at K Thoughts, K A E T H O U G H T S. You can also find us on our podcasting platforms uh, at Spotify, uh, Anchor, Google, you know and our, our, our radio. Our radio yeah. Yes, yeah, those are our platforms. And what you would type in to find us at the platforms is the Tyrone Hour, the Tyrone Hour. For the podcast, and that's if you're hearing it on um, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iHeartRadio, Anchor, or Google. And if you are looking for us on uh, Rumble or YouTube, you can find us at K Thoughts. Um, and our show is also brought to you by WFBR 1590.weebly. Mm -hmm. That's W E E B L Y dot com. Please tune in. They have. I mean, uh, uh, an arraignment of shows throughout the week. Um, everybody has something different to add, have a different perspective, but everybody is definitely trying to um, move our community in a positive manner. Yeah, that's what it sounds like, King. That's what it sounds yeah, like. Definitely, you know, definitely. Yeah, King, um, also, give me, um, tell them about um, us hooking up with Brother Dern, maybe. Yeah, Brother I was Dern, getting to that one. Yeah. Boy, you know, um, we got a show, State of the City, that comes on. Brother Dern, he comes on. He's extremely insightful um, and very knowledgeable about any and all topics that he speaks on. And, um, yeah, we hopefully uh, we're going to link up with him within the next few weeks, probably in the first week of um, November, and probably do a joint show. Because, again, he says a lot of the things that we say, but he spins it in a manner, and then he brings the people up there that backs up everything that he's saying. We have callers? Okay, um, caller. Uh, caller, who's this? Good morning, this is Cookie. Hey, Cook, good hey, to hear Cookie, from you, you Cook. Good to hear from you, Cook. What's on your mind, hey, or do I, you want to chime in on what I talked about, independence? Go ahead, or did you hear Mommy? No, I missed her because I was driving and got out the car. But I wanted to ask a, a question. Go ahead. Because I know you, miss, you are missing about donations online, that if someone was trying to donate, where could they go? If they were donating. Okay, if you want to donate, you can send it right into the radio station. Um, um, okay. Yes, yeah, send um, it straight to the radio station. Yeah, yeah, and just put Concern Tyrone Show, you know, Tyrone Moore, make it, you know, if it's a check or money order payable to Tyrone or payable to the uh, radio station. But cool. Yeah, but the good, the Go good topic of you all having the independent day, um, which is awesome. But I, I'm jumping on really quick because I wanted to share some information if you all don't have it already about the expungement fair 
going on at Drew Hill at the Y. Go ahead. Today. Go ahead. Today. From 10 is a criminal expungement fair. So it begins at 10 okay. until 2. And the address is 1609 um, Drew Hill Avenue. And they'll be there from 10 to 2. So just make sure that if anyone that's listening got questions, just bring your information or any paperwork that you had that you want to get answered for because you're going to get all of the expungement questions answered okay. here today. Okay, okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Thank you, Cook. Thank you. But look, Cook, I also want you to chime in on that independence. Is that yes. hurting us? Is it hurting us or is it good for us? Which one? Let me say this. It's, it's all around. It's all around as the family culture. Ah. And when we, when we talk about independent, right? Yeah. You all know I love my two-year-old. That's right. <laughs> I love two-year-olds because if you stand back and take a moment to give them the chances or the opportunity to be to be the um, curious little minds that yeah. they are, mm-hmm. you'll see what they're doing. But as we mature into adults, or immaturely yeah, grow to young people mm-hmm. that we're still trying to figure out some things of the world. We yeah. need to reach our highest self. We have already learned who we are and what we want. The right. thing is when we cut those two year off stops, stop doing that. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. Shut up. Be quiet and go over there. That's the way I see some things. I know mom had some something inspirational to say mm-hmm. because her nurturing is really different. That's right. But let me tell you a little thing about experiencing about what I'm doing really quick. Mm-hmm. It's about the independence that I see my child is, is um, conquering out here. But she's already done it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? That's so right. she's learned her independence. She learned that she can do this. She can learn to do, the, do those kind of things. But here it is. I'm a free, I'm a parent who allow her to live free. That's and I'm right. a black parent to allow her to live free, right? That's right. And it started from her youth up until now, and now she's a teenager, and now what she's doing. She's independently making those choices without confirmation, without asking questions. So what do we have? We have someone that is trying to experience the world on their own as a young person, but they haven't taken their toolbox with them because, I'm going to bring Jesus Christ into this conversation only because if you listen to the story about how Mary always was looking for Jesus Christ, he was out there doing something that he wasn't supposed to do, mm-hmm. supposed to be doing. But if we look at our cautions, we look at our tribe, and we see how our parents, our ancestors allow those children to be able to live those lives that they was living That's at right. a young age to experience the world and live and lift up those uh, where they're going because also they had to be queens and queens and leaders. In our communities, so our villages. So, Cook, it sounds like you're saying independence is good and it can be bad in the same breath. Absolutely. Okay. Hey, Cook, thank you. Appreciate it. King, you want to chime in real fast on the good or bad on the independence? Because what I see, Cook, for real, is that a over, a over, um, a overflow of the word independence and the over, like, too much. It's like, you know how they say you're doing too much? Okay, well, I, I, okay, Cookie. I think this is where Tyrone going with it. He's he, okay. he's being he's doctoring the words. You utilize the word independence in a manner, and you related it to a child. And we there's nobody that's sitting in here who could disagree with what you're saying. Got nieces, nephews, ty, child, right. ty got a child of um had a son. He's grown now. Mm-hmm. He got grandkids. Um, young lady here, I'm not sure if she has children, but I'm sure, you know, she has nieces and nephews that she's been around. So we see that. We're like, oh, my God, that's so cute. They taking strides. We get yeah. that. And then with the guidance. What Tyrone is talking about is I'm independent and I don't need anybody. That oh. narrative that's constantly yeah, that's being yeah. put out there. Yeah, that's and, we're what, cost, yeah. and we're hearing it now coming from um, women which and that's mm. basically what he's talking about and how they've okay. made it where I don't need a man. A man is basically well, I don't need the structure anyway. I just need this, I, I, what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, they just think, yeah. Go ahead, Cook. Go ahead, Cook. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, just a second. I disagree for um us as women to say um we don't need a man. 
Well, it's safe family I, structure too. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't go on that part. I think people label us as the independent woman mm. because I will, I will put it up to say that women will cry um, uh, and seek a fee. Mm. But saying that you don't need me a man, you become despair. But you also separate yourself as well. I don't. I like what I you just said. The separate. Where did come from? Yeah. And I don't know why it's pressed upon a black woman. Well, so I don't say just black women don't cook. I really base everybody. I'm saying the word independence. I'm. I've been. I wasn't focusing basically on black women. I'm saying mm -hmm. the word independence. Period. We've run in too far with it. I think so too. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It, it, well, I don't see, know, again, it's been pressed upon. I don't know upon, where it comes from so much. And well, I'll tell you where I it, want to do some things by myself. Yes, I get that. I get that. But, but okay. yeah. it, this is where that independence. Independently saying that if I don't need someone yeah. to help me partner and pair up to pay bills, oh, yeah, I could change my tire. You know why I can change my tire? Because someone taught me how to change my tire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or I can say that I can protect myself. You know why? Because I learned how to protect myself when I was younger. But independently, you don't need. Independently, you can drive on your own. Mm -hmm. Together, you can build partnership with someone who allow you to do that thing independently because they are not stronger in that mm -hmm. part. I could, I, that's how I want to say it. Thank you, Cook. Thank you, Cook. I got another caller. Cook, I got enough. Sorry to cut you off. Oh, caller. Go ahead, Cook. Go ahead, Cook. Take another minute. Go ahead, Cook. Okay, no, I was saying because of the try-off that, that, that we had. So all those is all our mystical capacities that we that we have. And that's what I was saying. I love the independent side of the time, bro, because I know you speak to me on different levels of those topics. Uh, where where it come from and how people thrive to it, and I hear you, and I like when you, when you clear it up and say you're not just talking about the black woman. You're talking about that word independent. Yeah. Period. And that word independent is very broad. Well, let King um King want to chime in real fast on it. You good, King? Yes, I'm fine. Okay. Hey, well, Cook, I'm gonna let you go here. Thank you, Cardinal. All right. Hey, appreciate that, Cook. Thank you. Hey, King. Again, All I right. said the word independence went a lot of ways. It went yeah, a lot of ways. Nobody is using the word independence but the black woman. So what are you yeah, talking about? It goes I mean, a lot I, of I ways. I disagree with that, yeah. that whole well, premise I said it's all, you know, Because if we're talking about independence, listen, there was a huge thing about Independence Day. They, mm -hmm. they took that away because they went with Juneteenth. Juneteenth. So, you know, I'm like, if you want to start talking yeah. about independence, we're not talking about it. We're yeah. being disingenuous with the argument. Yeah. That's, that's well, what, everybody that's, has their own argument. Can well, you got your argument. They no, had theirs. But, but, the, but again, the, the okay, so tell me one thing. How, who else do you hear talking about independence? Well, we, again, we all we only we I get that, that we time. get I that said, our else? women. So then we got to our women. So then if we can't we can't we can't our get women. to a problem our and fix women. a problem if we don't address. And I talked about that on exactly the show. I from. talked about that on the way here about about what's the name. But again, I say, King, everybody has their opinion. I and get you know that, I mean? but this so, is not even an opinion based thing. We asking a question, yeah. and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, the the, the truthful answer is. A, but we're not saying, we're not even addressing Because we're having a conversation right now. So, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm saying is that, you know, uh, when we get to the part about that independence thing that I was talking about was about how it breaks down the family. And I was talking about a comedian when I was on the way here. And the comedian brought up independence. And she brought up about how, you know, she brought up black women. She brought up about, she said that, um, she brought up about that, you know, how easy it is to, to tame a man. She said, cook him a sandwich, get him a sub, a, a beer, make love to him, and he good. She said, but how could you live in the day in the world and talk about you don't cook? She said, you should kill yourself as a woman. <laughs> this is a comedian. She said, you don't cook. And I said, when I took it a little further in the car when me and King was in the car, I said, well, then what purpose are you to the community or to the um, society? You don't cook? Well, those are the first thing of nurturing the people, the children. I'm going to give my public service announcement right now, King, because we've seen some hell of a things on the way here. <laughs> we've seen some hell of a things. Uh, uh, we've seen a 
total egregious um, a violation it's of a the violation. squeegee of my squeegee alert. It's a violation. Total violation. Every week here at the Tyrone Hour, 1590 AM, we do a public services now. It's called a wild squeegee alert. If you run up on him, King, you don't give him any eye contact. All right? King, if you, you put your window? window down, King, and give him your phone, and something go wrong, they hit you in the mouth for something. You go home. Don't call the police. You go home and tell your people I did something stupid. I rolled my window down and talked to a stranger I ain't never seen in my life. I gave my phone to you, baby, and he knocked me upside my head. But, King, did we not see a total we, egregious violation we today? We at the stop So I say, look at this, look at this, look at this. Yeah, total, total. Hold up. These two dudes go, and they had a car, and they wash the window. Yeah. And then you see the, the man. The man. Who rolls down his window. He's engaging them. He's, and then yeah. he, he, he cash apps their money. Yeah, they got phones out. They got phones out. They got out. phones out. They got phones out. He's, it, this, yes. it, it wasn't even 830 in the morning. It ain't even 830 in the morning. They got phones out. But guess what the narrative would be? Well, those two little boys could probably be out doing something bad if they weren't doing that. Well, then if they was, then whatever happened to those two little boys happened to them. Well, no, Ty, they was, take, they was taking care of their family, Ty. But that's the, well, again, well, when you was they taking was, care of your family in certain ways, they was whatever all, happened to you, happened to you. Well, they were trying to be young, young entrepreneurs, Ty. I get that. I get that. You know, take in the middle of the change. street. Yeah, ca- ashtray change. Ashtray change. Yeah, yeah. What, what we call it? Ash change. Ash change. Yeah. That's what we call it. Ash change. Yeah. We were treating a culture of children taking ash yeah. change and said that it was entrepreneurship. That is a king. If you come across Hagerstown or come across Negro Mountain, because a lot of blacks don't even know it's a Negro Mountain. I'm giving it's a y'all. Real thing. I'm giving y'all it's a history real thing. on the. T- and it's in there's Maryland. a Negro Mountain in Maryland. In Maryland, okay. If you come across that, anywhere in Maryland, be aware of the Wild Squeeze. That's our weekly Wild Squeeze alert. King, I say, King, good hot topic, independence. Good hot topic. You know what I mean? Again, I say, King, um, we break down our laws. and our, You want to talk about, um, King, I wrote this down because you said you wanted to talk about Black Lives Matter. And did you hear the <laughs> narrative? Black Lives uh, Matter. Somebody it, threw Black Lives Matter even in the same voice with Hamas. Listen, See how stupid we are. Well, we trying to grab another plate. Go ahead, King. Can you give me just a couple. Go ahead, King. Go ahead, so couple minutes. Go ahead, King. Okay. So we ain't got that long, King. No, go, we ahead. Know, we got go, go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So you have Black Lives Matter that comes out and makes a correlation between Black Lives Matter and Hamas. Hamas. Now I want y'all to understand that Hamas is a terrorist group. Okay, even if we don't even if we don't think it or somebody don't think it, it is in the eyes of the world. <laughs> yes, okay? yes, yes, yes. Yeah, see that that's ain't right. It's the eyes of the world. The even, world. If you, even if you don't feel like that. Even if you don't feel it's yes. the world. So you you you're not even fighting you fighting the world at yeah, this point. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Now what happened or didn't happen in Israel, I, I again it's it's tragic. I don't I don't know. I'm not gonna say that I don't care. But what I will say is this attaching black people or Black Lives Matter, and, 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 and through, there. through association, yeah. black people yeah. with Hamas is only, only yeah. gonna cause black people to suffer even more, even more in America, because now we we already been radicalized. Yeah, we already running down the streets like terrorists. They call it. They call Chicago Chirac. Yeah, yeah. We putting up military, yeah. um, excuse me, casualty, casualty casualty numbers here in Baltimore yeah. and across all major cities yeah. that house black people, yeah. that black people are running. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah. I am not going to get off of their necks. Yeah. This is what is going on. Yeah. And we are being distracted with foolishness. Yeah. And this can only lead them to institute More martial law against us. faster. Because now, you know what? Hey, man, these people support Hamas. You know what? How far is it for them to just say, you know, create a narrative? It doesn't have to be true. It's a narrative narrative. that Hamas is funding BLM, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is putting money into these communities. And these, they, they are the people who are funneling all these guns into the inner city. 
How hard is it going to be for them to create that narrative? And then you have the media who mm -hmm. runs that and keep putting that on TV and show little black boys running around with yeah. guns all day long because we already have it out here that we got 15, 16, and 17-year-olds commit nothing but murder, mm -hmm. anarchy, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. But, you know... I'm not going to go too much farther. I just wanted to say that. I got a lot more, but I'll let Ty... Uh, hey, we had a in. caller that called in. Um, you can call back if you want to. I'm sorry about that, but we, um, you know, just had a good hot topic, man. And um, yeah, you know, hope you can call back in and uh, we can get you through, though. Please do not dismiss what I'm saying because you'll see in the coming weeks, if they don't somehow or another quell this this little situation going on in, 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 in Israel and it's not a little situation, a huge situation going on in Israel and it keeps going on, we are gonna... Okay, why, do we, why do we grab on everybody's plate? Because we are the dumping grounds for bad why, ideas. Why is it that every time something because goes the black on, community, we keep jumping on because, other people's plates? Because we as That's the black, not our plate. Because we as the black community are the dumping grounds for bad ideas. Thank you, Brother Charles. Did you hear me, okay? No, I'm just I, 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 you know, can we talk you. about this in the car and the way we talk we about, talked this, about this, this week? All week. We talked all about week. it last week. All week. And I talked about the king is coming. We ready to jump on this plate. And we ready to jump on Israel. And, and, and we ready to jump on this you plate. You said that two weeks ago. Yeah, I, I said it. And lo and behold, this week, Black Lives Matter jumps on Hamas. Yes. They're having protests all over the camp. Uh, where is it happening at? On yes. the college campuses. Yes. I tell you about yes. these the educated yes. elites. Yes. yes, I yes. keep telling you about these elites. They think that they king. know better. And they're black elites that's doing this. Stop thinking that it's these white people. Okay? And I'm glad you said that because it ties back into something I wanted to talk about in crime again. <laughs> back to crime again. I'm going to tell you who breaks the crime, who does, who does, who breaks the law a lot. Middle class people. Yes. Middle class people are the ones with ideas. Yes. Middle class people are the ones who are breaking law. Middle class people are the ones who are lost their ways on Pennsylvania yeah. and Fulton. Yeah, they, See, they were mis some of them were middle class people yeah. who ended up migrating down here after yes. trying something and then got caught. Yes. And can't get out yes. of it. See, poor people follow the law. They don't have the resources. Poor people follow the law. They don't have the resources. Bill, poor people are straight A students. Yes. It's the middle class that yes. ain't straight A students. Yes. Because they got so much wishful thinking and ideas. Yes. See, but the poor people are the ones who follow the law, still believe in family, mm -hmm. still go to school, yep. still go still go to the programs, yep. still still playing little league football, still yep. playing the little girls and still doing things. Poor people yep. are the righteous folk. Yes. Because you said it. In the beginning, you said they have no resources to get out. No. See, only people that break the law is a person that says, you know what? I can get out this one well, time at least. Yeah. Well, listen. I could use the house for my mother I'll, get me out. I'll, See, I'll, poor I'll, people don't have that resource. No, I'm going to use, use cookies and I'll just go, take it back to the Bible. Yes. Okay? He did say the poor would inherit the earth. Yes. And just to go back to what she was saying about Jesus and how his he, how yep. he was always Good in call, something. Cook. He Good was call. always into something. His kid, his father and mother was yeah. looking for him. She wasn't lying. And what did Jesus say? I was out doing my father's work, but he wasn't talking about his biological. Yeah. See, he yeah. was talking about a spiritual work yeah. because he recognized yeah. that, you know what, in his times as a little kid that, yo, the debauchery taking place. So I had to get to work early. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't even be a kid. I couldn't even be a kid. I had to get to so work early. So that goes early. back again. I say yes. that independence conversation came full circle again. We just cleaned it up and we straightened it out and we said the things and it came right back to just what you say, King. Again, man, when we, at the end result of all this stuff, black folks jump on everybody play. Everybody play. But yet not idea, their own. Yeah. But yet not their own. We have a major issue in the black community. We have to address black on black violence. Because it's easier to look at you and be like, hey man, See what I'm saying? I can point the finger at yeah, you. Yeah, hey, man. Yeah. But when I look at somebody else, yeah. oh, I want to help, you know, because I can, to the world, I appear to be a good-hearted, good-natured person. Appear. To appear be, to appear. be a good-hearted. Because if it comes back to your own family, your own people, yeah. then you look, I'm not helping them do nothing. I would give a million dollars to, to a, a stranger before I give my own family to a, a cup of water who's dying of thirst. We used to have rent parties. I'm going to keep talking about that. We would not let people go out 
on the on the in the block if you can help them. You ain't lying. You would not do that. You now watch. you'll watch them fall apart and laugh and laugh. No, Maybe I, you might no, no, no. No, let's bring the phone go. up. Let's bring the phone. We're gonna videotape the you all, not yes. the you all, the sheriff and them throwing, throwing this stuff, stuff on up. The stuff. Yeah, and then what we're gonna do is and put the video it. away and rummage through and take the stuff that yeah. we want post and then post the video and then put the yeah. video back up there when they get home and clown them. And clown them. Yeah, that's the type of stuff we wanna yeah. do. That's See, again doing. I say King man, thank you, brother. Cookie texted me again and said, Awesome topic. Good topic. Mommy liked it too, but you know, Leslie, my sister Leslie loved it. Again, I say, man, to everybody, man, that listen to the Tyrone now, and I know some of y'all are listening but not calling, not because I get how, I, I know how some people operate. Donations are welcome, guys, you know, to keep the voice going. You know, um, I believe that um, eventually this show is going to move to um, some higher some higher heights, man, you know what I mean? Because we have no more what they call word on the street, actual word on the street. We have FM stations who are... That elite group. Well, they're capitulating. See, I keep telling you, and they get, and they send out spies to these AM stations, and they stealing the tidbits and going back on FM and recalling them out. Again, I like um, what's the past? I say I like. I want to. P.M. Have Smith. P.M. Smith. I'm gonna have to get to this man, and um, because I, 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 he's the only senior adult I see right now speaking right. Remember, I told you about the dirt bike situation. He clearly said what, dirt bikes. I would take a bulldozer and boil them all over. We have a problem. The dirt bikes are the creation of what's going on right now. When they did not stop the dirt bikes, it escalated. It's called broken law, broken glass it law. It escalated. And then who, again, created them as they were? They didn't have anything to do. They Brandon no, Scott. No, black people too. Black, they black Brandon, people. The least black, black people in Baltimore. Brandon Baltimore. Scott because yeah, he was all the black people. He created. Uh, they ain't got no way. He to created ride a park. He created a park well, for him. Remember? Again, again, I'm gonna say they didn't go to the park because they not those park guys. Well, they no. want. They like to ride down the street, and while you riding by, they like to ride a wheelie and. Hope you looking at Well, it. that wasn't what happened, Ty. What happened was they found out that the city could be liable if somebody got hurt in the park and they shut it down. Now, the like first you said, word, go ahead. Go. Now, now they can ride down the street right side by side. The you. first word on that motorcycle is what? Dirt. Dirt. <laughs> see, you see where I'm at? We had allowed children to wiggle and change the reality of what I built this it's for. It's a dirt. See, like, I had one time dirt. I had a truck. I had a truck. I had the spinners on my truck and everything. And I had the Mickey Thompson tires. Yeah, oh, the knobs. The Mickey Thompson the big tires. Knobs on them. I got the Mickey Thompson tires because they were slick. But they weren't made for, for the asphalt. Street. No, they was not. So in our shelter, I wasted my money. I could have killed myself. I'm riding down the street in yes, this big old have. truck, and the truck sliding all over that damn place. I got dirt tires on it. See where we allow children to wiggle and people to change the narrative? No, I want to be a giraffe today. You're getting out of here today. You're a boy. You're a boy. I'm not going to allow this narrative to happen. Yeah, you're a boy. You're a boy. Yes. This is where I'm at with uh, that. Word on the street, real word on the street is what we do here at the Tyrone Hour. No, you're an addict. Stop getting high. Stop getting no, high. you drink too much. Stop drinking. Yeah. No, you no, you're a little heavy. You might need to slow down. You might have a heart attack. Yeah. You get me? You might need to change your ways. Yeah. Or things what? could be bad for Ch you. Change your ways. Change your ways, King. Ty, you cursing on this radio. King, I you had to change curse. my ways, King. But if I Ty, did not change hey, my Ty, ways, King. Listen, Ty, I'm not gonna allow you to keep cursing on here and talk about change your ways. Man, listen, these four letter words that you keep coming up with, change and change ways. And ways. Man, you better stop it, Tom. Talk. King, thank Listen. you, man. Thank you, King. We had a good show, I believe. Yeah, yeah, we um, did. Thank you, young lady, for thank being you, man. here with us today and everything. And uh, Gene, wake up. Uh, <laughs> Cook, thank you, Cook. Mommy, Laz, Toby, I know that was you on the call, and we didn't get you in, but um, I'll talk to you this evening while we watch some college football. <laughs> Go Ravens. Have a good weekend, King.